Good morning. I'm Sue. Bless, bless, you. bless you. Thank you. Um, I'm reading something today that um, was written by a guy named Henry Rollins, who was the uh, had the band uh, Black Flag back in the 80s. Do, does anyone remember them? I thought you might. <laughs> so um, even my son remembers him. I had to Google him because this um, thing that I'm going to read has kind of really touched me a lot. And I would have thought, you know, how would this, how would this gentleman um, write something that would really touch me? Because I don't like hard rock music <laughs> at all. And so um, it's, it was very interesting. And my cousin, son, put this on Facebook, which was really kind of cool because he's an assistant district attorney in around, somewhere around Boulder, Colorado. I'm not sure exactly. And he also has a yellow lab that um, helps him during uh, court proceedings. So I have always admired him for that. So anyhow, here we go and see if it touches you. Someday, I would like to go home. The exact location of this place, I don't know. But someday, I would like to go. There would be a pleasing feeling of familiarity and a sense of welcome in everything I saw. People would greet me warmly. They would remind me of the length of my absence and of the thousands of miles I had traveled in those restless years. But mostly, they would tell me that I had been missed and that things were better now that I had returned. Autumn would come to this place of welcome, this place I would know to be home. Autumn would come and the air would grow cool, dry, and magic as it turns that time of the year. At night, I would walk the streets but not feel lonely, for these are the streets of my hometown. These are the streets that I had thought about while far away, and now I was back, and all was as it should be. The trees and the falling leaves would welcome me. I would look up at the moon and remember seeing it in countries all over the world as I had restlessly journeyed for decades, never remembering it looking the same as when viewed from my hometown. And that was by Henry Rollins. And I didn't cry, but it was close. 